All right, so yesterday when the uh, when the video premiered, you guys had asked for a setup video. So this is that video. So the office or like the studio, the room that I work out of, right, is shaped really weirdly. So like here, you would walk in, kind of like we'll call that this, this alleyway here. There's the wall all the way on the side and then it builds out like this. And there's like a strange little like bump or dent where the wall is, right? And then you have this portion of the room and the walkway that you would walk in and out of, right? So there's the doorway here. So the window is here and that's where we get some good natural light but my girlfriend's desk is along this wall and we have like L-shaped desks that are really annoying because you can't take them apart. They just have to remain in that shape where one side is like longer and thicker than the other and it's awful and stupid. So for a while, I had my desk against this wall here and I would be like literally stuck here in this little like cube space. So I would have sure my monitor and like my camera off to the side here, but it made it super immobile and not actually usable whatsoever. And then this whole portion of the room is now cut off and suffocated. And there's the sticker wall, right? I'm sure you guys have seen that as we kind of watch the videos, but so I recently changed it up. I recently just after Christmas, I, because I got some of this new setup, I shifted it so that my desk actually faces this way. And now the monitor is over here and I sit in my chair here, right? And I can have kind of this space for like microphones and lights and the camera can kind of be in flux literally anywhere. So it super duper opens up this end of the room, which is fantastic. I can actually move and I can do a lot more with the desk and actually have more of the space to do things. So I am no longer cramped in like a weird invisible cubicle, which I recommend to people. <laughs> don't, don't do that to yourself. <laughs> Okay, so the tech, right? The stuff that you guys actually care about. Uh, I am using my Dell XPS 15 laptop as kind of my daily driver, right? I use that for literally everything. I keep the keyboard there, so it's actually in reach, and that's what I use for everything. That's my trackpad. That's, that's literally just how I use my computer. It's hooked up to this 2560 by 1080 monitor, which is nice just up at the top. And I have these two side monitors here that I have set up kind of in like portrait mode so I can look through documentation, so I can look at source code, read everything in a long vertical format. I like that a lot. Um, this is all hooked up with a little like Dell dock here. And that's this thing here. Forgive the messy wires. I have never actually kind of said that I was good at wire management. <laughs> I do software, not hardware, whatever. Uh, so that's hooked up with the Elgato to get this camera. That's hooked up with like the battery and I have an extra light here. So in case I ever need some other extra desk light, that's this thing, which is a nice USB power connection. I have the stream deck, which actually just came in yesterday. So I still need to set that up. I also need to stream for one thing. Uh, of course, the YouTube play button, which I finally have hung up on the wall and some light above that so I can get more light here. I have this other light stand, which does light. Of course, I have these lights off to the side. And then kind of behind the monitor, I have a grab bag of nonsense. That's kind of where I hide and keep stuff. So of course, our little Guy Fox mask, right? Which should be present in more and more videos. Oh, and there's one camera there to get another side shot. There's another camera on the top of this monitor to get kind of a face down shot. Uh, I still literally have the little plastic cover on that so you can see how much that gets used. And uh, I have this drone, which, uh, will, <laughs> which is all the drone footage that I know you guys wanna see. So we'll, we'll hopefully we'll be able to play with that sometime soon. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, oh, squat position, whatever. This is legit, this is the real part. This is why the benefit of opening up the room gives it a little bit more flexibility with the camera. And check this out. So now we got a little standing desk. All right, all right. I do still kind of need to figure out what to do with the microphone and like how to get this right. And obviously, sure, there's some like still wires kind of in the view. I need to do cable management eventually. I know, you don't have to tell me in the comments, but leave a comment anyway, YouTube algorithm stuff. 
So, I don't know exactly how much I'm gonna end up recording like this in the standing position, but it's still kind of nice so I can like actually stretch my legs and like not be sitting the entire day, which I like. It kind of like nullifies these two monitors over on the side, I know, but I mean, I'm gonna be like in the focus zone anyway. I'm gonna be like doing what I do as needed. So there's that. <laughs> Oh, I also have a green screen. I can pull that out and show you that if you want. Ta-da! It's a green screen. I actually haven't set it up in this new like room layout, so the lighting and the shadows might be super janked up, but uh, I haven't recorded with this all too often, and I don't know if it actually looks good or not. I don't know if folks like having this green screen and like having a transparent background over the screen overlay as to like what I'm teaching or what I'm showcasing on the computer. So I could do more with this. I mean, I, I would love to play with it. It's uh, Let me know. How do you like your education <laughs> in videos? on the John Hammond YouTube channel. I don't know, man. <laughs> My Dell XPS 15 laptop does dual boot Windows 10 and Ubuntu Linux. A lot of folks I know ask like, hey John, how do you edit your videos? What do you use? What do you do? I record with OBS and that's installed on both Windows and Linux. So whatever I'm working on, I can record. And I edit with Caden Live, which I also have installed on both Ubuntu and Windows. Uh, my Windows side has WSL or the Windows subsystem for Linux installed. And my Linux side has a virtual box with a Windows VM in it. So I can kind of easily as needed hop in and out of whatever I need to do. Um, for filmography and stuff, I'm using an Audio-Technica AT2020 microphone. It's hooked up with an XLR cable and like some converter to get into USB mode and newer, newer. They put out the converter for that that I use. And I'm recording on a Canon EOS R. I have that synced up with the Elgato and uh, it looks beautiful. I stink and love it. I am so not used to high quality cameras, so I have a lot of fun with this. So forgive me for all the nonsense, but that's the tech. That's what I ended up using for recording and filming and doing and creating content like this. So, hey everyone, I think that's it. I think that's all I could showcase. Um, I hope I answered your questions or showed you whatever you wanted to see, maybe? Um, I had some fun with recording this. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Let me know if you like B-roll stuff like that or whatever. Just get some more cool electric cyber music going on. Um, I am gonna be doing more tech videos. Sorry. <laughs> all right, okay. You can, you can, are you just gonna lick my hand? Are you just gonna lick my hand? You're just gonna lick my hand. Okay, I am gonna be doing more cybersecurity and actual tech videos super duper soon. Please stay tight. It should be coming out this week or next. We got the Sans Holiday Hack Challenge lined up, which I am super excited about. Please do all those YouTube algorithm things. Please like the video, please comment, please subscribe. Um. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what's up? What's up, man? What's going on? Are you coming up too? Are you coming up too, dude? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.